Hey guys, my name's Dave and welcome to another Guitars Ready Hero song tutorial. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to play As It Was by Harry Styles, which is a really cool track. Now, in this lesson, I'll teach you two different ways of playing this song. The first method is without a capo and the second method is with a capo and it features some more familiar chord shapes for the beginners out there. Now, if you want to master your chords back to front, be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Or if you want to improve in your guitar in general, then sign up to Guitar Zero to Hero Premium, which is my complete step-by-step -step guitar course. Let's jump into the lesson. Okay, so I'm gonna start by teaching you how to play this without a capo. Now, this is the four chord chord progression that just gets used throughout the entire song. And this is how I like to play it without a capo. So for our first chord, we have a D sus two. So it's the same as a D chord, except you can lift your middle finger from that chord shape. So it's a D sus two. And then for our next chord, it's a B minus seven. So from the D sus2, I move my index finger up to the second fret of the fifth string and middle finger on the second fret of the third. And I just like to focus on the middle four strings here. If you happen to hit that open high E string, that's okay as well, but I just like focusing on the middle four strings. So that's B minor seven, and then we have an E major, and then an A chord. So you can play this A chord in a number of different ways. You can use your index, middle and ring finger to play that A chord, or you can just use your index finger to bar across that second fret of the fourth, third and second string and focus on those middle four strings. So those four chords are used throughout the entire song. Now let's take a look at this with a strumming pattern and then I'll teach you how you can finger pick it as well if you wanna strip this back a little bit. So our strumming pattern's just down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, and in succession, down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up. You're gonna play that once for each chord. So the easiest possible way of playing this without a capo sounds like this. And you can literally play that throughout the entire song if you wanted to. One thing I do want to add is that if you're having difficulties transitioning from the D sus2 to the B minor 7, you can actually play the D sus2 like this. So basically get into a B minor 7 position, but just have your index finger lifted from that second fret of the fifth string. So it's basically ready to push onto that fret, but it's just lightly touching that fifth string. And that way you're, you are basically playing that D sus2 Anyway, so you can go from that D sus2 positioning and then put your index finger down and then you're playing that B minor seven. So you don't have to maneuver your fingers as much if you go with that option. So that will look like this. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how you can use those exact same chord shapes and finger pick this if you wanna strip it back a little bit. So for our finger picking basics, your thumb will take care of the sixth, fifth, and fourth strings, and your index, middle, and ring finger will take care of the third, second, and first strings respectively. Ideally, they shouldn't pluck any other strings other than the ones they've been assigned to. So for our DSUS2, we're gonna play a picking pattern that goes like this. And we can break this up into two smaller sections. So our first set of four notes is bass note of whatever chord we're playing, so that's fourth string in this case and then third, then fourth string, and then second string. So those first four notes. Now the second set of four notes is bass note, third string, fourth string, third string. We put that all together in one picking pattern, sounds like this. We're gonna play this picking pattern twice for each chord. So for the D sus2, And when we go to our B minor seven, the picking pattern doesn't change, but our bass note does. So at the start of each section, we're now going to the fifth string instead of the fourth string. 
So that will sound like this for the B minor seven. When we go to our E major chord, our bass note now shifts to the sixth string, but everything else remains the same. So. And then when we go to our A chord, our bass note is now the fifth string. So we'll play this now at 135 BPM, which is a bit slower than the actual track, but it does sound a lot more relaxed. Okay, so that's how you can play the song without a capo, but let's say you don't particularly like those chord shapes, here are some perhaps more familiar chord shapes, and all you need is a capo on the second fret of your guitar. So this new chord progression will go like this. We have a C chord, and then an A minor chord, and then a D chord, and then a G. Now if we apply that really simple strumming pattern that we had earlier, and we play that once for each chord, this is what the main progression will sound like with a capo in second. And you can play that literally throughout the whole song as well. Now if you want to finger pick these chord shapes, then the same finger picking will apply to these chord shapes as well. So we'll break up each bar into two sections. Our first section is bass note, third string, fourth string, second string, and then bass note, third string, fourth string, third string. So one full picking pattern. And you play that picking pattern twice for each chord. Now if I'm finger picking with these particular chords, what I actually like to do with the G chord is just play a lazy G chord where I'm just putting my middle finger down on the third fret of the sixth string and then leaving all the other strings open. So if you wanted to finger pick these chords with the capo on the second fret, this is what it would sound like. And you can use that strumming or the finger picking throughout the entire song if you wanted to. It's really, really nice and simple. Now, one thing to note, if you are trying to play along to the actual original recording, the chord progression actually starts as soon as that main synth riff begins. It doesn't start when the drums come in. So be wary of that. When the drums come in, that's actually where the second chord is. So now I'm going to be doing two playthroughs of the song. The first playthrough is the easy strummed version without a capo. And for the second playthrough, I'm just going to be doing the verse and chorus of the finger picked version, which is at a slower tempo. Just so you can see a demonstration of this if you want to just finger pick this at home on an acoustic guitar. A big thanks to my friend Eric for lending his awesome vocals to these playthroughs. Feel free to play these back as many times as you'd like to, to practice, play along to, and see how you go. Seems you cannot be a 
Thanks so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this lesson, then I know you'll absolutely love these other lessons too. So hit the link here, or if you want to grab a copy of my free guitar ebook, then head over to guitarzerotohero.com or click the link here. Thanks so much, and I'll see you guys next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers.